What I'd like to show you guys how to do is evaluate the indicated, indicate, indicated function for f of x equals x squared plus 1 and g of x equals x minus 1. So what they have, they want us to do for this problem is to do f of f plus g. So if you guys remember, when you have f plus g, what that means is you want to take the function of f of x and you want to add it to the function of g of x. So simply what we need to first do is we need to combine these two functions. And then what we're going to evaluate is we're going to evaluate it for this term. So what I'm going to do is f of x plus g of x plus g of x. That equals x squared plus 1 plus x minus 1. Now I can combine my other terms. And that's another other term, that's another term. But I can add my 1 minus 1, which becomes 0. So therefore, now it has x squared um, plus x. And then those two cancel out. So now, that's what my f, plus, uh, f of x plus g of x equals. Now it wants me to evaluate f plus g for t minus 2. So therefore, my f plus g for t minus 2, that's going to equal, now you're going to plug in t minus 2 plus t minus 2. Okay, so now you're plugging in what your term is in for your variable. So then, now I just need to go ahead and do this. This will become t squared minus 4t plus 4 plus t minus 2. t squared minus 3t plus 2. And that is how you evaluate um, the integrated function for when you're adding an f of x and a g of x. You add them, and then you evaluate for your term given. Okay? And since this term has a variable that you're evaluating for, your final answer will have a variable in the end. So.